Saber folks, I'm here with a sound card soundboard review. I've got three different types here today for you. One of the biggest things that I have an issue with um, in the community is finding uh, reviews of sound and how when I spin them, will it actually match up? Uh, what's the sensitivity like? How are the clashes? Things like that. But I have a hard time seeing them all together. So I'm just going to hear today make one for you guys that sort of does that. So the three different sound boards that I've got for you today are the um, Nano Biscotti V4, uh, I've got one in a Saber Forge Oracle and a discontinued Consular, and then I've also got uh, Saber Core 2.0 in again another discontinued Consular uh, for my Saber staff that I enjoy and love, one of my first Sabers I ever got. And then um, also the Paxstar Kyogen soundboard as well. So we're going to go ahead and compare those for you right now. So the first one, um, let's do. We're gonna start at the top quality. Let's do, I like my, this is um, Saberforge Oracle in a, uh, with a 28 millimeter speaker. So this is, yeah. Obviously the speaker is gonna be louder if it's a bigger speaker. There we go. So this is the Nano Disguy V4, uh, some, uh, the Sip Acolyte sound font. And I'm just going to do some spins, and then you can go ahead and see for yourself the test. It's also important to note that there's no chassis in the Saber Forge Oracle. Um, or at least, yeah, I don't have a chassis in it, um, which I've been told also will affect the swing uh, quality and accuracy. And that the vibration in this particular one, because if you notice, this sound font is pretty uh, deep and bassy. Uh, will actually cause phantom swings. And if I actually feel over this button, I actually get sort of a, I can actually feel some vibration going on. Yeah. So yeah, so the uh, it's pretty sensitive. It does does what I, pretty much what I want it to do. Obviously, I would like it to be perfect, but you know, good luck getting anything perfect. I'll do a few more of these and then we'll move on. Okay. It's not perfect, but it gets the job done. And if I hit it against my arm, pretty much. Oh. Every time I do. Ooh, yeah. So the NBV4 is pretty, it's like middle market. I think it was like 50 bucks, custom saber shop. Pretty good soundboard. Uh, you get three fonts. I'll just do another one. Boop. What is thy bidding, my master? This is like Dark Overlord or something like that. Oh. This one definitely vibrates. You can feel the vibration actually if you put your hand over it, over the, over the button. There's all sorts of, I think it supports tri and does all sorts of stuff, but I just have one LED in mind. So this is again, just mostly a sensitivity video. So I'll just keep doing some of those. Lightly, usually I can make it. Ah. So it is sensitive, you know. The MVV4, I think it's. I think I think even with the chassis, it's going to be a lot better. But I don't have one. I had a friend do all my installs, so he just didn't have a chassis. So we just used the battery holder and just kind of sort of taped slash glued it on, wired it all sort of tight to the battery holder. But MVV4 is pretty good. That's a 28 millimeter speaker. Really quickly, I'll just do. This is the consular. Uh, we've got a 20 millimeter, I believe, speaker in here. And uh, yeah, it's like a million times quieter. This is a gray meat sound font. Also, none of my stuff is charged, so please note that there is a 
This is all like middle charged as well, so that's something to keep in mind. This one has always felt more secure. So I definitely get less phantom stuff going on. quieter um, with the 20 but again uh, now it's got a v4 it's the highest board i have that's middle market i think it's like 50 60 bucks at the max i think um highly recommend definitely the best one especially if you want to put actual sound in your saber i also recommend getting uh speakers that are bigger than 20 millimeters this is great though if you don't want to bother anybody 20 millimeters is awesome um let's do so here's a saber core this one's like super loud i also all my settings i think they're all on one sensitivity and the flicker and stuff. This is Sabercore 2.0. Yeah. Sabercore, brilliant. Um, and we're gonna see some phantom stuff because that's how they roll. Yeah. We're both on one in terms of sensitivity. And uh, yeah, I have, I have dropped this bill before, so you know, can't knock them too hard, but I have dropped it. Before. There is vibration control in this one, so the um, the saber does, I believe, from what people say, cause fan swings when you have the vibration control in at least in the saber for it. Yeah. go slow enough, if you go slow enough, it doesn't really do anything at all. Which I think is, of course, depending on the threshold or whatever that we decide. Saber Forge one, uh, definitely a lot more phantom swings than Nano Biscotti. It's also less sensitive. It's not nearly as accurate. Um, still better than the one I'm about to show you, which is on the Kyogen. Uh, but yeah, so if you get one of these, at least with the SF, uh, I'm trying to think, pricing. You can get the Saber Core 2.5 or whatever. There's a couple different options there. And I think those are like 80 bucks a piece. I haven't looked at the site in a while. But um, so there's that. Uh, this for me was i think this is a 300 hundred dollar saver at least it was back when i bought it a year ago now i think so yeah now in comparison to the kyogen actually i put some these are rubber o-rings i just put on for grip and because they looks i feel like it looks better um yeah you're about to see the difference here this is the cheapest saver i think you can get with sound and there's a reason for that if you can hear that That shaky sound that, yeah, anyway, it's cheap. It's light. It's lighter than any other one that I have, and it's awesome. But here we go. This is an amber. It owes me like five swings, and it's given me like none. be really cool if it was accurate, but it's not. Yeah, so I mean, this is pretty cool. I dig it. It's like 60 bucks from the puck store. Um, 
it's so cheap. It's like I can play with this, throw it around. I'm not worried about it. Bring it to con. I brought it to a con once. Uh, two of them actually. I'm not worried about them messing up. You know, I'm just, I'm just not, and that's awesome. Is your lockup sound? Double tap, turn it off. Yeah. Oh, the clashing for this guy. Yeah. Whoop. The clashing works better at the tips. Again, it's not perfect. And if you go here, not so much. Oh, there we go, that one. Yeah. Anyway. I got one, this is a sleek one in black. I like, actually really like this one. It's super sleek and cool looking. But yeah. Let's turn this one on. This is in red. If you, if you tap it lower on the saber, I feel like the sound is better. Also, if you strike at the tips, uh, you actually get more of a reactive sound effect here. Spoke too soon. Still better than that, though. That, that should be clashing, and it's not at all. Yeah. This helps because there are two different models. Uh, basically the same saber, but and they're acting pretty much the same. Not super different. Obviously color shouldn't change anything that much, but it's decently loud for what it is, man. Like it's pretty good, can't complain. Um, but yeah, so those are some sound card, uh, those are some soundboard comparisons. Uh, we have the Nano Viscati V4, Saber Core 2.0. Uh, back in the day, 2.0, and then the Epoch Store Kyojin um, sound card there. So we had a few different types. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and got something from it. This would have really helped me when I was making my first saber decisions. I highly recommend the Kyojin because uh, it's super cheap. You don't know anything about it. You don't care if you lose it, break it, and bad things happen. You don't care. So, um, but yeah, cool. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, see you guys next time.